Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to create a customizable t-shirt product. The customer will be able to customize the t-shirt by choosing the main color as well as the secondary color of the shirt. We will also provide for an extra fee the ability to print a text on the shirt and even upload an image for print. Before working in the app, we need to prepare the images and masks we are going to use for the live preview feature. For this video, we have used Photoshop. As you can see, we have the base t-shirt image and we created masks for the two parts of the shirt. Masks are used to colorize specific parts of the image. We exported the different components of the mockup as a separate image. So let's get started. As usual, we first need to create a product directly in the Shopify platform. Let's upload a featured image and set the price to $20. Hit save. For the moment, the product doesn't contain customization options yet, so let's open the app and start adding options. New customization options. We want to apply options on a specific product, the t-shirt product. Let's find it. Since we want to generate a live preview of the final product, let's check that box. The featured image is automatically used as the base image. You can use another one if you want. The base image is basically the canvas on which the options will add elements and colors to generate a preview of the final product. We can first add a size field for the t-shirt. Add a new option drop down menu type in the field name it is the label that describes what the field is we can add options with the add options in bulk feature add options you can remove the first one notice that you can make a price increase depending on the size this field would not affect the live preview now let's add the primary color field. Add a new option, color field, primary color. We can start adding our colors. We need to make it so that this field affects the live preview. The way color fields affect the live preview is that they can colorize a part of the image with the selected color. The part of the image that is colorized is defined by the mask which is a black and white image. The black parts of the masks are going to be used to colorize the base image. As you have previously seen, we already prepared the mask so let's upload the If you want, you can also create the mask using our mask editor. The mask is now uploaded and seems to be working just fine. You can tweak the colors if you want. The blending type field allows you to change how the color will merge with your image. You can try them to find the one that gives the most realistic effect. We will now follow the same steps for the secondary color. The secondary color field is now completed as well. Now let's add the ability for the customer to add either a text print or a picture print to his shirt. 
The first option for this is a drop down menu. Do not forget to set the price increase fields as well. The drop down menu is complete as it will not affect the live preview. Now let's start with the text print. It is going to be multi line. By default, we can set the text to keep count and carry on. Note that it is important sometimes to limit the characters so that the text doesn't exceed the t-shirt area. We can set the limit of 8 characters per line and 5 lines. Check the effect live preview box. This part is very straightforward. You can set the text color, font, opacity, and more. We can position the text using these values or directly click on the image to position it. Notice that these checkboxes will allow the customer to set that field themselves. You want to allow the customer to choose the font himself. You just need to check this box and the font field will appear on the product pages. Finally, we have to add a picture print field. Add a new option, upload field. Picture print, required. We will not allow multiple uploads. We can leave the other fields to the default values. Check the effect live preview box. These fields will allow you to position the uploaded image on the base image. You should use the preview extensively in this part. A trick is to first set the resize type field to cover so that you can set the printing area directly in the preview. You can change the size. Once you're satisfied, you can set the resize type to keep proportion. We have now completed the options for this demo and we can proceed to the next step. In this step, we will set up which and when each option field is displayed. Right now, all the fields are always displayed, which is not right. The text field should only be displayed when the custom print dropdown is set to text print. The same goes for the picture print. So let's set up these two conditional logic. We're done, so let's hit save and see the final result. The customization products work very well, and the results look very realistic. Let's upload an image. The price field gets updated as well. As you can see with our app, you can create infinite option combinations with a lot of ease. We can add the product to the cart. Notice that our app automatically uploads the final live preview results to the cart so that you as the store owner can retrieve it during the fulfillment process. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that it will help you better understand the potential of the Infinite Live Preview Options app. See you soon for the next tutorial.